All right, folks, what's going on? I'm recording this on my cell phone because I can't seem to uh, find my SD card for my iPad, but I uh, just wanted to show you guys. I loaded, this is my first ever 11 car load, and I'm going to go over a couple things that uh, I think I did wrong that I probably could have done better and some stuff that uh, I can point out to maybe help you guys be able to do the same type of load. So I'm going to start off with back in the first car on that that worked out fine i tried doing a 10 car load with my head rack a while back for so stacking four on the head rack and then just the normal six on the trailer um and i backed that second car up top there on and it it made it really difficult if you look uh let me try to do this here i got my gloves and stuff in my hand hang on if you look right here that deck to that car um, when I backed it on the trunk right over here was too close to where the where this front deck here came back down in order to get this car down to 13.6 so I tried pulling it on this time which I think was the right move um, that that's right at 13.6 it's actually my highest vehicle on but when I was loading I'm standing out on the road so I'm gonna try not to get hit but when I was loading um, my first screw up is on this car right here underneath that on the bottom of the head rack. Um, I didn't drop the wheel pocket right here. If you can see that, I didn't drop that. And I had this, um, that, the uh, bottom back here from the back tires in four, is that four? Um, I could probably go judging over here I could probably go one hole lower and be fine um, but I didn't have this front tire drop which made this car too close to the windshield which made it so I couldn't bring it in on the head rack in order to uh, get enough space in between, those two, in between those two cars sorry I had looking out in the traffic so I can walk back out here on the road um, but that was mistake number one um, I had to move that car in order to get it down and just to make sure I could get all these Ultimas down originally I uh, I loaded those four first and then I started coming back here to load these and these are fine um, I probably could have taken this belly Ultima and moved it back a little bit further and I'll show you um, on these trailers there's this cutout right here that really helps the trunk lid to come up here so you're not too close, which I probably could have backed this car that was down in the belly down just a little, back in a little bit further, which would have made it easier to get down to height right here. Um, it would have given me just a little bit more room, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's tight. These. These three, there's not a lot of space in between them. So that's probably my second screw up. And uh, so I look back into traffic again. Hang on one second. And this car I have backed on. Um, I probably should have pulled it on. I think it would have worked a little bit better. I would have had a little bit more space between here on, on these two vehicles if I would have had the hood up here. So next time I try this, I'm going to pull this on instead of back it on. I think it'll work better, but we'll see. And then realistically, I mean this, where I screwed up right here when I was loading the top is I raised this one up like you normally would load a 10 car load. I raised this one all the way up and then I raised this one, which is just under the bumper so when I got to this car, I didn't have enough room to get them in between the bumpers here because these two cars were too close. So what I had to do is I actually had to slide this one all the way back, drop it all the way back down, take this one, bring the front way down and drive the back up real high so I could shotgun it out so I could get these two bumpers to go over the top of each other so I could reverse how I had it loaded. And that's just because you're, by having this car here, you can't shotgun uh, this one all the way out. 
like you normally would to get get you your space so that was uh that was my other mistake was that took a couple extra minutes this whole load it wasn't bad it probably took me two and a half hours but it's the first time i've ever done it so it was i was playing around a little bit trying to figure out how i was going to do it but now that i know i can i will do this more often because it's pretty cool and it's something i've always wanted to do that's why i wanted a day cab four car head rack so i could do these 11 car loads because i've seen them go down the road and i just i don't know i think they're neat but uh then all you really got to do is take this car shotgun it all the way out take this one raise the front up over here so what i did i dropped this down and got this down a little bit bring the back way down over this car i mean this car's not on bring this one way down so this one you can shoot up and put this one forward way up over here above this car and then you can get this one on and this one on lastly but then you can raise your entire top deck up here but i mean as you see for me this is a uh, a first i thought it was a cool load uh, i hope you guys do too and i hope you guys can use this to do some of your own 11 car loads this with full tanks of fuel came out to uh, like 77,800 pounds ish um but yeah this is this is my first ever 11 car load um this this vehicle right here is right at six foot out to the back bumper um next time i do this if i can pull this one forward because i had to by backing this one in i had to push it this way further than i wanted to um so i think if i were to pull it in next time i can go further forward with it which will then allow me to get my ramps here up and then drive this car much further in which is a little safer not that this was unsafe but i don't like being that far off the back end of the trailer i mean i'm right at six foot i i grew up um only being able to load uh only being able to have a four foot overhang so that's what i'm used to and when you're six foot off the back like that i just get nervous making my turns i don't want to swing that car into anything because if you i mean if you look from the center of the axle to the back of the bumper i mean that's a pretty good amount of swing that that car swings out when you make your turns so yeah i mean this is like i said this is my first 11 car load the other thing you guys when you do these remember any time you have a car shotgunned way out and you got a lot of weight on this back ram and not on the front ram make sure you set your pins so they don't so this front ram doesn't rise while you're going down the road i'll, I'll show you right here um that's something you want to make sure you do uh sorry my fingers got in the way of the camera but these pins right here because if you look they already came up so i'd have to in order to get that pin out i have to actually force that deck down just a hair in order to pull that out um same thing actually i don't think this one even rose no that that one didn't raise at all which is good but yeah anytime you have hang on anytime you have the majority of the weight you got a ram here and you got the ram here majority of the weight which is this is the center is behind the center of the two rams you're going to tilt the ram just think of it like a teeter-totter right here's where it wants to teeter if you're balanced evenly that's not going to go up and that's not going to go down but if you're not balanced evenly or that's not going to go up but if you're not balanced ev evenly you're way before one side or the other then you're going to uh it, it's it's going to raise on you 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 will the hydraulics won't hold it down because well, we, we put the pins on to keep the decks from lowering, but when actually all the weight's pulling it up, you're going to uh, you're you're going to have the uh, the weight. Sorry, there was a car there. Uh, you're going to have the weight pulling that ram up, so actually you have no pin doing anything underneath it. And the one oh, there's another car come. Hang on one second. The one last thing I want to show you guys when you're doing this is this space right here 
Um, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but there's actually about two foot of clearance right here. Because you got to remember when when the truck let me walk back out here. When the truck goes over bumps, right here's your pivot point. So if you're going up an incline and, and this part of the truck's tilting up, that's going to make this car tilt down. So you want to make sure you got at least two feet of space right there, so that way you don't drive this deck into the roof of that car. But uh, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. But this is my first 11 car load. So guys, have a good day. I'm going to unload this and get down the road. Thanks.